Hello again. If only for curiosity's sake, there seems to be a growing interest in British HO models from the past. There's a few internet channels, a few YouTube channels such as Railway 187 who have looked at these models that have been part of the HO heritage, but for whatever reason, mainly because double O became the standard in Britain, HO more acro trains never really took off. So I was looking around at the line and somebody had suggested that the Jewf coaches commissioned by Playcraft or the other way around in the late 50s, early 1960s were quite cheap on eBay France and sure enough they are. Now because I live in Ireland, it's become very expensive for me to buy items from the UK because of Brexit. The EU has imposed really strong tariffs on imports. So it's actually cheaper for me to get something from the Black Sea in Bulgaria than it is across 11 miles away in Scotland. Uh, that's politics for you. But So I did find these three items very inexpensive on eBay France. They're two British rail Mark I type coaches from the early 1960s and a very interesting one, two brake fans in the same box. I guess they put two in the same box because it was just a way of saving on the boxes or something. But these were sold in in stores, department stores in the UK in the early 60s and um, the packaging and the graphic design gen really does reflect that, this kind of oblique lettering on the logo very 60s looking you know like almost like a graphic design almost like a jazz album cover and a deep red cover with the the model inside shown in in a kind of a black and white lithograph type thing and it says voitur coach type british railways quotations second class and i'm not sure what ori f means but uh, the baggage, second class baggage, Voiture type, passenger type, British Railways, second class baggage car. So uh, the box, considering it's over 60 odd years old, is in pretty good shape. The flap has come off this side. And let's look at the model. Okay, so there it is. Surprisingly freewheeling, I have to say. Very freewheeling. Well, the metal, they are pinpoint metal axles, so I won't change them. And they do get, I just run over the points to see if they be off camera. No, they don't catch in the frogs. So, first impressions the similar plastic to the one that I converted recently. If you watched the video on the British Railways post office coach. It feels and looks very similar. It's better, actually. It's a better quality. The wheels are fine. You you compare these wheels to what Triang was offering. Forget the forget the forget the point that this is a scale accurate model of a British prototype in terms of it's you know it's it's proportionality to the track HO track. It's not it's not basically narrow gauge like double O gauges, and that happened because the they couldn't fit old motors in the 1940s and 50s into the smaller loading gauge of British trains, model trains. So they went up the four millimeter scale of double O instead of 3.5 millimeter scale of HO. And to me, there was no reason to do that once the 1970s and 80s came along as small high quality motors were available and Lima gave it a go. And we spoke about that in a previous video that didn't work out either. But they have these strange UF couplers, which are sort of like almost like a compromise of the European style coupler and the British style tension lock coupler, like a mixture of both. It, it's in superb condition. This it's literally mint. It has a running number, and you can see the dining tables inside. They're not coloured or anything, and like all British HO. When you put it on HO track, you have something that's far more realistic than 
in just how it looks and sits on the track. And I must say, I'm very, very pleased with the rolling quality of this. Now, you, you remember how terrible the Triang rolling stock was, particularly the coaches from that period. Tremendous friction on them because of the big, chunky plastic wheels. This was light years ahead. So it was light years ahead. It was more accurate. In some ways, it looks more better anyway. The paint job would not be as good. It's molded in the colored plastic. But it just shows what a terrible shame it was that British HO never took off. Now, this is a brake van here, and it says Voitour type again. British Railway second class baggages. Now, this... It says baggages, but it has the brake fan in it, so it's probably just assuming it's a, to use the French term, a foregone. Or is it different on one side than the other? Are they, are they using the same box? Because it looks like this coach here. Yeah, they're, using, they're saving cutting costs, you see? They're using the same box for the different models. So, I don't even, I, this is the first time I've opened these. And judging by this one here, this looks like the first time it was opened since the 1960s, considering the quality of what I'm seeing so far. Yes, great. So this is a baggage one. Now, again, details a lot better on this one because of the nature of the coach. You can see the, you can see the, yeah, pretty fine printing. It's got the word guard molded in and bossed like into it. And yeah, it's, it's, it's it's a classic corridor, very common British style back then, the corridor style. Uh, that's interesting. The end on that one is black, but the end on this one is, is molded in the same red plastic. And again, this is absolutely mint. Now, this is also a very good quality plastic because what really tells you the quality of plastics, the, the undercarriage detail like on, the, on all the Jews seem to be bolted on, even on their French stock as well, screwed on, I mean. Now what just tells you, over time, if it warps, you, some of the early stuff from the Triang and, and Rovex, they're shaped like bananas now, and you can't do anything about them because it happens in the molecular structure of the plastic, and it actually happens a lot because of UV light affecting the plastics, the cheap plastics. But this is as solid and as clean and as just bang on as today. A pretty sizable gap between the two coaches, but that was the nature of these. Were aimed at you know tight curves. I do have two of these that are not in mint condition. That I'm going to replace the with proper couplers, HO couplers, and narrow the distance uh, because they are pretty wide, even by the 1960s, early 19, late 1950s early 60s standards, but having said that, they run beautifully. Now the next box is this one. This one's a bit dusty, very dusty. Jouef, du Fongans the Q, type British Railways. So that's uh, two Fongans brake vans in a pair, type British Railways. Again, there's the packaging. Can't read, it was the price there, I can't read it. Wherever it is. And uh, the same length as the other boxes, I think, yeah. And so that's why there's two in here. So let's have a look at these guys. <laughs> that's really cute. That is seriously cute. Look at that. That is a, it's so small compared to the, it's so small compared to a double O brake fan. Let me get, let me get a double O brake fan to show you between HO and and double O. Get these, that's, so that's, I don't have a HO British Freight to go with this, not really. I have some Continental bands, but they wouldn't, they, they, I, wanna, I wanna get some HO. They do exist, Lima did make them. Well, I told you I had four of them and one of them, the, is a restaurant coach which just appears to be a baggage coach the same baggage coach with the word restaurant put on the side and the the restaurant part the baggage part blocked out i think they're yeah, they're, exa they're identical so and there was another composites another sorry second class 
corridor coach. So there's the four being pulled by the Lima HO class 33 that you saw not too long ago. So let's take it for a spin. I must say I'm very impressed with the Class 33 being able to handle this no problem, both the coach's low friction and how that model came out since I restored it. And just to compare the UF coaches to the, the Lima HO coach here in green, you can see there's a slight difference in height, nothing spectacular. So all I need to do now is put the proper couplings on, add a bit of weight to help the running, oil up the wheels and maybe do a little bit of detail painting on the ends. So there they are, the Jew-F 1960s, late 1950s, early 1960s, British HO coaches on Arcadia Junction.